Hey there, Luke with Canix here. Today we are going to cover Canix's new integration with Dutchie. This integration will allow for retail locations to see what is in production or finished in manufacturing and cultivation licenses to place purchase orders in their retail license. Gone are the days of sending menus to your retail locations and managing orders off of them. This integration will also provide full seed to retail sale reporting covering the costs from plantings to harvest to packaging, processing, and final retail sale. Finally, this integration allows for manufacturing and cultivation teams to see stock levels in retail facilities to help plan what should be produced in the future. This integration starts in a retail license in Canix on the purchase orders page. We can go ahead and create a purchase order from scratch, Let's say here we are buying edibles from one of our other facilities. We enter in our vendor. We select the products that we are looking to buy. Say we're buying these gummies. We're buying 60 of them here. We can enter in our requested delivery date. Let's say we want this tomorrow. We can enter in any of our payment terms, doing COD, any internal notes, and then we can go ahead and create the purchase order. Once we create the order and we have received the products on the order, we can go down to receive products and we can send them to Dutchie from here. On the left hand side, we have the vendor details. The top line is the Canix vendor and the bottom here is the Dutchie vendor. We already have a Dutchie vendor associated with the Canix vendor here, but we can go ahead and select a different vendor to associate if we would like. Similarly, with the inventory, we already have the Canix item associated with the Dutchy product listing of the same name, but we could come here and associate a different Dutchy product listing if we would like. From Canix, we are also able to create new product listings, not have to go over to Dutchy. Similarly, we can create new vendors from Canix as well if we would like to. To receive the inventory, we can select the inventory we are looking to receive. We can enter in the quantity that we have received. It autofills with the full quantity of 60 here. We have the date received, any notes, and we can go ahead and add packages as well at this point. Once everything looks good, we can go ahead and accept the inventory. we'll see that the inventory has been received. And now on the Dutchie side, we'll see that we now have those gummies in our inventory with the package ID as associated, the strain, how many we have available from here, as well as the cost from that purchase order. A couple of additional things to note about this integration. Vendors and product listings can also be associated in the admin section of Canix. This makes it easy to associate all Canix vendors to Dutchie vendors and Canix items to Dutchie product listings before making any orders. We can go to the item we'd like to associate. See those Willoughby gummies again. And on the item details here, we'll see the point of sale details with the Dutchy integration and the product that we have associated. And we can change that here if we would like. Similarly, on our vendors, we can select one of our vendors we'd like to associate. And here at the bottom, we can associate a Dutchy vendor with the Canix vendor. A final note on the integration, to be able to send inventory to Dutchy, a Dutchy user has to be associated with the Canix user that will be sending inventory. This is done in the user management page of Canix. If you select a user to edit, you'll find a Dutchy user field and they have to be associated to a Dutchy user to be able to send any inventory over to Dutchy. I hope that this overview of Canix's new integration with Dutchy was helpful and thank you for watching.